What is going on, everybody? This is Cody, aka DFS Prodigy. Coming to you live right on this five gamer, five game slate on a Saturday. I'm excited about this. Before we can always, always, always hit the like button, when we can definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, and let's be in a ton as y'all know the whole spill, the whole shebang. Y'all know how it goes. Always just click those buttons for me. Do your little thing, it helps. Um, viewership, but we're just gonna go and jump right into this. I know you are tired of my little intro, but let's kick it off with Pitt at Jacksonville. Uh, we're going to go uh, game by game, but in the games that I'm breaking down, I'm going to start basically with one team and then flip to the next team. So starting off with Pitt at Jacksonville with the Pittsburgh side, four quarterbacks, obviously. So the man that I want to go to would be Kenny Pickett. That's kind of the man I'm looking at. It's the only man I want to really want to look at. Um, he looked good last game. He obviously, we know how it went with him. Um, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm definitely going to. Um, that's the main guy I want to get to. And then running back wise. So this is what's interesting to me is Warren. So he's earned more reps. Just they're looking at him as a second running back. But what does that mean? That can mean two things. We could get the two, two outwell game where he's looked so good that he doesn't need to get any run or he could get more run. So it's just like, what, what are we doing? What are we going to expect? So I don't mind Warren. I just kind of want to monitor this closely. I'm not looking at anybody else running back wise. Then on the receiver wise, Mr. Pickens himself. I like him here. Uh, he's been looking amazing. Obviously, I like what we've seen out of him at camp. That's kind of the main guy I really want to go to. I'm trying to keep it simple here. Um, I'm not really looking at much anybody else. Um, but tight end wise, Maybe some Hayward. He's still a little good in camp. I uh, played him the last uh, last slate that they had to the Steelers on. So let's move on to Jacksonville, though. I hate breaking down this Jacksonville team. Um, CJ Bethard, I want some of him, possibly, depending on how much run he gets. I, I mean, if they're going to play two quarterbacks, that's the main guy I really want to go to. Would be Bethard. Um, they cut Slaughter and they brought in EJ Perry. So, how much run does EJ Perry get? Uh, how prepared is he for this offense? I mean, it was on Tuesday they signed the contract. So, that was what two days ago or a day ago, including today. So, I don't know how much run he's going to get. So, that's what worries me. I think this is going to be a second Bethard game. So I do want to go to him. I do like him. Running back wise, give me some Connor. Give me some Sergeant. I like both of them. I think Snoop Connor is going to go look well. Uh, it's depending on how much run he gets. Uh, I don't mind Sergeant or Connor. Um, kind of looking at receivers wise, I don't mind going to some Jay, Jay Jones. Um, we've seen him look good. Obviously, he got some targets or he got some targets last game. I don't mind going to him. He's been the main guy they're kind of looking at. Um, I don't mind going to Cotton either. Uh, but then tight end, nothing really much I want to get to. So as bad as as bad as I hate Jacksonville, this could be a team to target. Not gonna lie, this could be a team to certainly look at. Las Vegas at Miami. Let's start with the Las Vegas side. So Derek Carr, Stidham, Mullins, Garbers. Not really looking at anything. They're gonna play all three quarterbacks. They're probably gonna give some Derek Carr run. Running back wise, it's good luck guessing. Um. <laughs> Again, uh, good luck. Is it going to be White? Is it going to be Walter? Is it going to be Amir um, Dua? Uh, if I knew, then I would be like, yeah, play this guy and play him right now. Lock him in. But you really don't know a preseason, especially with running backs and receivers with the snaps. Um, receivers wise, I don't mind really going to Tyrone Johnson. I mean, he again, he's looked good in camp. He's looked, he's been highly praised. You can certainly look at him as my screen just. Spins, it is what it is. Um, tight end wise, Darren Waller. There we go. <laughs> Darren Johnson probably pulled up. Um, Darren Waller, Marino, Flowers. Not really looking at anybody, to be honest with you. Uh, let's go to Miami. Miami wise, again, I, I do like me some Shaq or some Skyler Thompson, not Shaq Thompson, Skyler Thompson. Um, he looked good, obviously, the last game. It's just interceptions we need to watch for. I don't mind going to him though, whatsoever. It's certainly a hard to, target to look at <coughs> with the Bridgewater and Tua kind of combo. I, I don't mind Thompson. 
Running back wise, again, good luck guessing on this team. They're kind of splitting all the carries amongst all the running backs. We saw some, or we saw some Gaskin, some Amid, some Dokes, some White. You, it's, I'm not liking it. Uh, receivers wise, Bowden Jr. caught that TD pass. I do like him. Um, I was surprised with Eric. He didn't really see much, even though he looked good in camp. He didn't really do well last game. Uh, I'm still taking a shot of him, GBPs. And then really nothing I really want to look at on Miami with the defense or with the tight end wise. Let's go to the third game. Tampa at Tennessee. Let's take a minute and talk about Tom Brady. This is an interesting kind of kind of off or not preseason, I guess I should say. He's still absent. Bulls said it doesn't really matter. Um it's just it's just interesting to me of what's going on about Tom Brady. Um again, the way Bulls is handling it is kind of interesting to me. I don't know I keep saying that, but it's just it's a weird thing to see this for Tom Brady. He really doesn't do this. He really doesn't just take time away. I know he doesn't need it, obviously, but it's still just a sketchy situation that I kind of monitor. Um that's kind of been just the I guess the I'm trying to explain it. I guess just the I keep saying interesting, but I keep, it's just a, a weird, weird kind of leave of absence for him. Um, Kyle Trask. Let's talk about him for a minute. He looked good. 33 passes. Uh, he's definitely a sneaky option I don't mind looking at in Kyle Trask. Running back wise, I love me some white. Give me all of Rashad White here. That's the main guy I really want to go or Rashad White, however you want to say it. I don't mind going to Keyshawn Vaughn. I like those two guys here, especially with look who they have. Warner on the IR, Bernard questionable. And then you have Mr. Lenny Fournette. So I'm really looking at White and Vaughn. Uh, those are two guys I really want to look at. And then receivers-wise, you can look at some Darden. Uh, I do like him, Jalen Darden. He looked good last game against Scotty Miller. Still seeing good run. I do like him. Uh, Tyler Johnson looked good last game. He's, he got a couple passes. I do like that. And then tight end-wise, kind of all over the place. I mean, nothing really special. Uh, let's go to the Titans. On the Titans side, what side, what side of Mil- Malik Willis? Obviously, Willis is going to be chalk. He always is. Uh, I do like him, though. I do like his rushing upside. Running back-wise, I give me some chestnut here. Not the hot dog eater chestnut. Julius chestnut, not Joey. Um, I do like him, though. Uh, he looked good. Again, seeing good run. Seeing. And then receivers-wise, I don't mind going to uh, Kyle Phillips. Again, that's going to be the main target for Willis. When he gets into the game, um, he looked good, obviously. And then tight end wise, again, nothing really stands out to me tight end wise just yet. Let's go to San Fran and Minnesota. Let's talk about this team. San Fran, uh, I don't like this. I don't like having all four quarterbacks. Again, that's why I'm just kind of not really going to the quarterback side on that. If I had a pick, it would be Purdy. But again, <coughs> not really going to anybody there. Uh, rece- or running back wise. Let's talk about Joe Wilson for a minute. So he didn't log anything. Mitchell's questionable. Sermon's questionable. Um, this could be a, somewhere to target. I do like Davis Price. Then he does intrigue me with ten times of rushing. I don't mind Jamichael Hasty, the swift back who can definitely catch passes in the backfield. I do like that. Receivers wise, Danny Gray, obviously the main guy I want to go to. Look good in camp. That's kind of the main guy I want to look at. And tight end wise. Too many tight ends for me. I'm kind of fading that and moving on. Minnesota. So, Kellamond, I love him here. It's going to be a battle between him or Malik Wilson, who I like the most. Um, they both have huge rushing upside, obviously, the Texas a and product in Kellamond. I'm not biased, I promise. Uh, but I do like me some Kellamond here. I love him here. Running back wise, again, I like this. I like Kenny, I like Kenny um, with, especially with Ty Chandler questionable now. So if he doesn't play, I'm going to get all of uh, Kenny here. That's where I'm going to go to right here in Nawaga. Um, receivers wise, give me some Smith, Marcet. I do like that. That's kind of the main target I want to look at on this team. And then tight end wise, again, it's just nasty, dude. I, I, nothing really stands out to me. I'm not really looking at anything. Dallas wise, let's go to quarterbacks. Not really anything impresses me with Cooper Rush, Wolbeer, and Pindanusi. I'm not really looking at that. Running back wise, give me some Rico. I, I do like me some Rico here. He looked good last game. Uh, nine rushing attempts. I don't mind Malik Davis if you want to get to him. Uh, it's between him and Rico for me, but I do like Rico a little bit more. Receivers wise, this is where you want to go to. Give me some Houston. 
Give me some Turpin once again. Give me some Vasher. I like this little group of Cowboys receivers. And then tight end wise, I do like me some Ferguson. Um, that's kind of the main guy I want to go to on the tight ends. Again, it's a sprinkle, sprinkle the tight ends that you think is going to get the most snaps. Um, that's the problem is just you don't know though. Contrary to popular belief, like I was saying, you really don't know on tight end because there's so many options and they switch all the time. Um, I mean, again, sprinkle. He didn't even practice if you don't remember him from Washington. Uh, but I do like Josh Perkins here. And then Chargers wise, by the way, this is where I'm going to go to tight ends. But give me a second. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Chase Daniel himself, uh, Easton Stick, I don't mind. But again, I'd much rather go to McCallum Wan or Malik Wells or Kyle Trask. Running back wise, uh, you can look at Joshua Kelly. It just I kind of wanted to go to Spiller a little bit more, but you also have around you who's seen snaps. I do like them. So kind of the splitting time between these three, I don't mind either or receivers wise. I, I love Joshua Palmer here. They don't have very many receivers, as you can tell. So give me Palmer, give me Guyton. Uh, those are the two main guys I'm looking at. And that tight end wise, with the injuries of Parham with McKitty, um, you can go to Camp from our uh, you can go to say Surratt if y'all remember him, but defensive wise, this is where it's going to get tricky. So defensive wise, I I want to say you can go to Miami in the Las Vegas situation. I wouldn't mind taking shots on that on the Miami with Stidham and Mullins, but again, be careful with that. I do I do like Malik Wells and Trust. I think this is going to be a high scoring game. You can take shots on the Chargers defense. I think definitely against Dallas with the Cooper Rush and with the Will Greer, I don't mind going to that defense. Um, it's kind of the main defense I'm looking at, but that kind of wraps up this late for us. I go thank you for tuning in. Hope it's a great safe rest of the night. Have a good one, everybody.